Hey everybody, it's Serena. And today I received some mail. Ah! Well today I got my first horror pack. This, I'm really excited. I can't believe I never knew about this subscription. I didn't realize you can get movies in the mail every month. Here I am being a cinephile just buying and buying tons of DVDs all at once. I seriously think I have about 322, maybe more DVDs and Blu-rays. It's it's not a joke. I have so many. I have shelves. People who know me, when they first come into my apartment, I have bookshelves lined up against one wall and they're all movies. And then I have bookshelves that are all books and I'm just, I'm kind of like a DVD book hoarder. It's not, I don't know if it's okay. I don't know. But anyway, I'm still getting DVDs, so apparently it's okay in my brain. So I'm really excited. This is my first horror pack, and I'm sorry I haven't been making movies lately. Well, videos lately. I've just been under a lot of stress. I'm, as you guys know, I'm studying, I'm like a pre-med student, and I'm studying, and the classes are not getting easier as I go on. My classes are really, really intense, and I actually just failed a test. And I, people who know me know I don't fail. I'm a straight A student. I have like a 4.0 and I'm, it's just not, it's not okay. I had a huge breakdown the other day. But anyway, it's, it's getting hard. It's intense. But I can do it. I know I can. So that's, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about that. I just had a, had a vent for a second, guys. So let's get right into my horror pack. So I already opened the box because at first when I received the package, I was like, what is this weird package? I'm just going to open it because I'm one of those stupid people that just does things. Just I'm like the dumb person that goes to investigate the strange noise. Meanwhile, it's the killer. I'm one of those people. I'll be the first to die. I'm the first to admit it. And I know the rules. So, yeah. All right. So I already opened it, but I don't know what's inside. That's what counts, right? So I know horror pack, I've seen other people's videos and they unbox and they're double packed. So that's good, right? Um, I figured out it was horror pack because on the opposite side it says horror pack. I don't know why I didn't just flip the box over, but that's besides the point. So here they are guys. And I got DVDs. I think they're like $20 a month or something and you get four DVDs if I'm not mistaken. You can get Blu-rays, I know, but I got DVDs because I have more DVD players in my apartment. I have two Blu-ray players and I think five DVD players. Yeah, that's a lot, I know. But we have like a ton of consoles and a ton of, like diff different rooms have different things and just, it doesn't matter. I don't have to explain myself to you, okay? So here we go. I'm going to open them. You see them? You see them? I hope I don't already have them since I already have a lot of movies. Oh, maybe I should do one at a time. Okay, here we go. I love how I show y'all and not me first. What is this? Hellraiser. <gasps> Ooh, Hellraiser. I have several of these. Hellraiser Bloodline. Terrifying and non-stop nightmare. Well, I do love... Oh my god, look at that glare. I do love Hellraiser. I don't know if I've seen this one. This looks like a newer one. 2011. I might have seen it. I don't know. I can't think. But I do like Hellraiser, so this is really cool. This is exciting. This is good. I don't think I have this one. I don't know. I feel like maybe I do, actually. I don't know now. Now I'm, like, double guessing. Because I have a book. I have, like, not a book. A movie collection where, you know, you could buy DVDs and they put, like, ten movies on one disc because they're kind of, like, tacky and short and... You've seen them. You guys know. I feel like this might be on one of them. So I don't know. I might have to look. If I have it, I'll... I'm putting together a horror giveaway of all the stuff I don't want from all my horror subscriptions. <laughs> and I'm going to put it in one box and I'm going to do a giveaway. So that's in the future, so stay tuned. So if I don't... If I do have it, this is... This is going in it. That's what I'm going to do with these. If I don't have them or I don't like them. Alright, next I got... Ooh, this looks like a cheap cheapy movie and i like those a zombie invasion horror pack limited edition dude that guy looks like paul rudd but it's not i have no idea what this is it looks fun though it looks trashy and fun and i'm all about that yes 
mad scientist Crazy Earl, ooh, I like the name, Cher Flong and Motley crew of townsfolk have their hands full when their sleepy town is invaded by zombies. Oh, wait, no. Not zombies. Otherworldly tourists. I thought they were going to say zombies. I really did. And when the town's recently missing person starts showing up as a hungry zombies, well, the colorful diner patrons have to team up to battle their rarements. Okay. I might have to give that a try. That looks fun and cheap and great. And I like cheap, great, trashy. Yay. Next. Let's see. Oh, sanctuary. What's this? Quite a conundrum. Oh, I love that word. Clerks meet scream. Dude, I love clerks and I love scream. So if those combine, I'm in. What is this? Who's in this? I don't know any of these actors. Who's Sasha Ramos? Is she hot? Emily Rogers? Joe Coffey? I don't know. Oh yeah, there's some hotties in this. I'm liking it. It should have been just a normal day of sex, fun, and alcohol hormones. What in the world? Okay, so yeah, it's about a crazy killer. Guys, nice. I'm actually really excited. I'm going to watch this today because during the fall season, I watch a horror movie every night. That's probably why my studying is not going so well because I'm watching horror movies. <sighs> Next, last but not least, you guys. Oh, the Mothman prophecies based on true events. Yeah, okay. I am going to spoil this for you guys. The Mothman's not real, okay? not. They actually debunked it and they discovered it was a crane, a sand hill crane, if I'm not mistaken. And it's like a red-eyed crane that met all their descriptions and they travel and they believe that it got lost and it ended up in West Virginia. And that's where this takes place. But this, this movie is actually really scary and I don't have this movie. I saw this movie once when I was younger, when it first came out. And there's a scene in here where I know you guys know who Richard Gere, Richard Gere is, um, so he's in this. But anyway, there's a scene in there where they're like talking to the Mothman on the phone, and he's talking about chapstick and recording, like he's repeating the Bible. And I don't know, there's just this creepy scene in there that scared me to death, and I never watched it again because it scared me so bad. But I was younger, and I'm wondering, I mean, not that much younger, but... Actually, yeah, this came out in 2006, so yeah, it's fairly, it's like almost 11 years younger. Okay, so yeah. Oh my god, I'm actually really excited. I really want to watch this. This has the lady that plays um Grace in Will and Grace, if you guys are familiar. She's such a cutie, such a cutie redhead. And, dude, I'm actually going to rewatch this. I hope it's just as scary as I remember. But the real story is really interesting if you guys don't know it. But yeah, those are what I got. I got, what is it? The Mothman Prophecies, Sanctuary, A Zombie Invasion, and Hellraiser. So that's cool. That's a good first horror pack. I saw some of the things that I know people got for Blu-ray. And the Blu-rays might have been a little bit better. So I might have to switch. I don't know. But we'll see. I'm going to give this, I'm going to give horror pack another DVD try. And we'll see what I get. But I'm liking it so far. I'm really excited. These just come straight to my door. I'll leave some information if you guys want to check them out. I also have a coupon code for you guys. It'll be linked down below. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I don't use Twitter a lot. Just FYI. But if you want, follow me. And you guys have a great rest of the day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And stay weird. Bye.